Uh, shalom, everyone, and welcome to our Indigenous Peoples and Israel gathering. Today is uh, January 28th. We are in the just at the end of the month of January, and we have Melody Gray Eyes with us to share a wonderful, wonderful announcement. Please, Melody. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to share that. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that um, so this has been in the planning for some time. So indigenous peoples of the world over the past over 20 years ago have talked about establishing an indigenous embassy to say that we align with Israel and that we believe they are the first of the first peoples and um, and, and to stand with them. And so anyways, that hadn't um come together until just recently. So in October, Deputy Mayor Fleur Hassan Nahum, who is the Deputy Mayor of Jerusalem, um, actually said in a, in a breakfast prayer meeting, uh, when after a gathering, there was an, um, the Messianic body was having a gathering and invited indigenous leaders from all over the world to come. And um, so a chief was there, and as they were leaving, this just happened after October 7th. So this meeting was like from, I think, October 11 to 13 or something. And um, and so at that time, uh, Deputy Mayor Fleur Hassan said, I will do everything in my power to help establish this Indigenous embassy in Jerusalem. And so the driving force is actually from Israel, which is very key and important because the indigenous people are being invited to establish an embassy, which is wonderful. So we were there in December uh, and I had the opportunity to speak with her and saying, you know, just with all the anti-Semitism that's coming against Israel, how wonderful it would be if this could be sooner than later. And so wouldn't you know it, it is going to be uh, the inauguration of the Indigenous Embassy will be on February 1st of 2024. So that's already yeah. this Thursday. So in Jerusalem. So it's actually it's a symbolic embassy and it's going to be, um, there's a room that's been given at the Friends of Zion Museum in Jerusalem. And so I don't know all the full details. I know there are people coming from New Zealand and I believe from Samoa and from other places. And, and I just happen to be here in Jerusalem. So my husband and I get to attend. And um, so I'm not sure all the people that will be coming. I'm anticipating that this is, uh, I've been told this is a soft opening. And so there may be a more formal opening when we could have more representation from all uh, the indigenous peoples of the world. Melody, tell us what mm -hmm. does that mean for our indigenous brothers and sisters here on Turtle Island? Well, <laughs> so, uh, I believe that as Indigenous people, we are the spiritual gatekeepers to the lands. So here in Turtle Island. And so for us to actually align with Israel on behalf of our nation is very key and important. And in, indeed for all the Indigenous uh, peoples of the world to align with Israel. Because the Lord has placed us here and this land is our inheritance and we're the first ones to live here, that for us to align with Israel and make that connection, there's a very big spiritual connection that's being made. And so when all the indigenous nations come together and do that, you know, that's something significant is happening in the heavenlies. Yeah. Amen. You know, from the very outset of our gatherings in 2021, healing and restoration has been uh, at the yeah. forefront. And uh, this past week, we've just had some really uh, sad, traumatic news. Um, one sister who is on this call, her granddaughter took her life at mm -hmm. the age of 19. And, uh, you know, it just breaks our hearts to hear that kind of news. And um, 
And that's just one of many, many families that are hurting, that are broken. But what I'm hearing you say, Melody, is that when our indigenous tribes begin to bless the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, mm -hmm. that the blessing that was promised, that all nations will be blessed through Abraham, that that blessing will become part of our testimony as indigenous tribes, as we stand with God's people in agreement with his word, that that blessing will flow to our communities and our families. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And according to God's word, those who bless Israel will be blessed. And unfortunately, those who curse Israel will be cursed. And so I believe as we, the indigenous peoples of Canada, truly bless Israel, that that blessing will come back on this land and on our people. And, and, we're, and it could be that we're just a remnant that are doing this, but God always works through a remnant and that this will come back to bless all of our people. Amen. Melody, thank you so much. Blessings mm -hmm. to you and to Gavin. And we look forward to uh, more updates in the, in the days to come. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Yes. Thank you for allowing me to share. And if people could keep praying too about this, um, you know, because we do want it, this to be significant in the heavens. And that means that it's done in purity, that there is no political spirit that would get in the way here, but that the Lord's will would be done. And this would be according to his agenda and what he wants to do. And I, I just think it's, it's so uh, significant that it is Israel that is recognizing that this is important, you know, uh, for the indigenous peoples to say we align with Israel. So, and and she's obviously not a believer, I, not to my understanding, you know, but um, yeah, but that the Lord would bring the right people here too. Uh, for this opening or for the next one that is to come, that there would be unity in the spirit more than anything else, because that's what uh, commands his blessing is the unity in the spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Melody. Mm -hmm.